Hey, happy Monday to you, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week and a brand new episode of Five Minutes with Phil. And I thank you so much for joining me here today on this Monday. I pray that you had a great weekend. <clears throat> and uh, now here we are. We're starting off a brand new week. And what better way than to do that by taking a, uh, a close look at what God's Word has to say to us today. So we're going to do that. So this morning we're going to be in the book of Colossians. And um, the book of Colossians, uh, in fact, uh, we're actually studying through this book on our Wednesday night Bible studies right now. And the book of Colossians was written by Paul. It was while he was in jail. He hadn't really even met these people yet. Uh, this church was founded by somebody else, but Paul wanted to encourage them because he heard so much good stuff about this group of believers and so they were kind of new at this and Paul gave a lot of instructions about what they believed about God but also in their relationships with each other and that's what we're going to look at today on a, a, a crucial part of uh, our relationships with each other. So before I go any further, take a look at this with me. I'll get my eyes on and we will look at this verse together. And here's what it says. Colossians 3 verses 12 and 13. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other, and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Now, uh, that last part is very, very important, okay? Where we're told, uh, because here's the deal, okay? Uh, God's designed uh, a life with him uh, to be lived in community with, with other people. Okay, God is not expecting us to be hermits or to be uh, living in a cave somewhere um, and, and never interacting with anybody. He, he actually wants us to live in community, doing life together. But <clears throat> I'm sure you know that sometimes when we do that, we uh, deal with people that may be tougher to deal with than others. And that can be a challenge, especially when they offend us especially when they rub us the wrong way. And uh, what do you do? Well, again, we're told to bear with one another and forgive each other and that we should forgive other people just as Jesus forgave us. And the question is, wow, okay, that's not always easy to do. How do you do that? And that actually takes me to the beginning of this verse because... Paul tells this whole church that they should clothe themselves. So they should put on some different characteristics uh, that will eventually help them get along with each other and bear with each other and to forgive one another. And just as like today I put on my hoodie and I, I tied my shoes um, Paul says, look, put on these things. Clothe yourself with these things. And that's going to help you bear with one another and get along together. And here's that list again. Uh, compassion. Put on kindness. Put on humility. Put on gentleness. And put on patience. Those, those five things. Articles of clothing, spiritually speaking, I think are the key to being able to bear with one another and to forgive one another. And so I, I'm going to rattle off this list again, and I want to challenge you to really, really strive to have these in your life every day. Have compassion for other people. Kindness. Be kind to other people. Be humble. Humility. Don't think any higher of yourself than what you need to. Be gentle and, and be patient with one another. 
that will do a lot in your relationships with other people, especially difficult people. Okay, so I hope that helps you today. Uh, I pray you have a great day. We love you. Thanks for joining me, and we will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.